Welcome to this guide on creating a device control policy using Endpoint Central. Let's dive in. To begin, log in to the Endpoint Central console. From the main menu, navigate to Device Control. Next, go to the Policies section and click on Create Policy under Policy Creation. Select Windows as the platform, enter a name for the policy, and optionally add a description to define its purpose. The device access control settings allow you to manage peripheral devices by permitting full functionality, allowing only trusted devices, or completely blocking access. The advanced settings provide granular control over specific devices. For removable storage, you can control file transfers, restrict modifications, disable auto run to prevent malware, and allow only BitLocker encrypted devices. You can also enable file shadowing to backup transferred files while specifying size limits and exclusions. Similar customization options are available for CD-ROM and Bluetooth devices, allowing you to manage permissions and restrict actions like file transfers. Device audit settings allow you to track all device activities across the network. You can configure report generation frequency and enable real-time notifications for blocked devices, ensuring visibility and prompt response to security events. Lastly, configure alerts to notify users when a blocked device is connected. You can use default notifications, customize messages, or allow users to request temporary access to blocked devices for added flexibility. Once configured, save your policy as a draft or publish it directly. The policy will then be ready for deployment under the Policy Creation tab. And that's how you create a device control policy using Endpoint Central. For deployment instructions, refer to the Device Control Policy deployment video. Thanks for watching.